Right, so hello again everybody and welcome back. Just a quick video today to let you know what's happening about the downloader app and it's being removed from the Google Play Store. So I'll show you what's happened, what alternatives you can use and what to expect. Right, so that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's crack on. Right, so if I jump over to my NVIDIA Shield, which is running Android TV, you can see I've got Downloader installed here already, and that's not being removed. But if you're just setting up an Android TV box, then, or any device which uses the Google Play Store, if I open up the Google Play Store here, go to the top, search, and I go across, I'm just going to search for Downloader. I'm going to search that at the top there. You can see there's no Downloader available. If I go back here... Just type in downloader. As you can see, it's not available. And this is going to be on devices such as your Mi Cools and your Google Chromecast, any Android TV device. And like I say, if I didn't already have downloader there, then I wouldn't be able to install it. Now, if I quickly jump over to this post from AFTV News, who is the developer of downloader, it does say, my downloader app has again been absurdly removed from Google Play due to a frivolous copyright claim from Warner Bros. Discovery. Is that how you say it? Frivolous? Never heard of it. <laughs> so this has happened in the past. There's been a copyright claim and downloader was removed from the Google Play Store, and it's happened again now by Warner Bros. So this is a Twitter post that he put on telling you a bit more about it, that it was a DMCA takedown from Warner Brothers in India, who thinks the web browser in the downloader app somehow infringes on its copyright. So this is not the first time it happened. It happened earlier in the year, and downloader was reinstated to the Google Play Store. So if it's not urgent to install anything... You might as well hold off because no doubt Downloader will come back. But if you do want to install something now, you want to use Downloader and it's not already installed on your device, there is something you can try. So on your Android TV device, you can go to the Google Play Store and you can use an alternative for now and it's called, not Q, <laughs> TV Bro. And there's plenty of videos out there of how to sideload using this app. And that's the one that you can use as an alternative to download anything to the device while downloader isn't available. But I just wanted to make a quick video to let people know if you're looking for the app and you're thinking, why can't I find it? That's why it's not only you that's having this issue. It's every Android TV device. That's the alternative you can use. But you would like to imagine that it will be reinstated at some point in the near future. I think last time it took, you can see here, the app was restored after being unavailable for 20 days. So that is quite a long time, isn't it? Two or three weeks is quite a while to wait, but it is good news that it was restored. Then he does go on to say, in the meantime, you can sideload the app onto your Google TV or Android TV devices by downloading the APK from, and then that link there. And then Downloader remains available on Fire TV devices directly from the Amazon App Store. So that's another thing to mention as well. This doesn't affect Amazon devices. So your Fire Sticks, your Fire TVs, anything that uses the Amazon Store, Downloader is still available. This is only for devices which use the Google Play Store. So if you use a Fire Stick, don't worry, this isn't going to affect you. So yeah, that's it for this one. Just trying to keep you in the know about what's happening. And if you've come across this issue, then... Now you know what might be happening. Let me know in the comments section down below, do you use an Android TV device? And what do you think about it? Because like I've seen mentioned a lot, if Downloader is an issue because it's got a web browser, then what about like Google Chrome and things? So it can't stand, can it? But yeah, I'm going to go now. Right, so that being said, I hope you enjoyed the rest of your day. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and I'll see you soon. Ta-da!